Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I'm out here at the dog park. Uh, I've got Preacher, Nirvana, Hefe, and I've got Lady. Today is Lady's first time at a dog park. And um, well, you know, she's doing good. I haven't seen, yeah, I haven't seen any behavior that she is not, you know, that's not good. Lady! Um, Later. so, so anyway, she's doing good. good she's doing good. Oh, okay. Um, lady, come here. let's look at Hefe. Good girl, come here. Come here, lady. Good girl, come here. There she is. So we have a moment. See that dog's tail is up? So he just communicated to Hefe that he's, um, a higher dog in status than he is. And Hefe, being the puppy that he is at eight months old and being raised in a respectful pack, he showed respect and backed down. But, um, you can kind of see a little bit of posturing in front of Preacher. Preacher just ignored him. The other dog didn't really know what to do, so he went and peed in front of Preacher and kind of looked back at him. That's pretty dope, isn't it? Hmm? I mean, he doesn't really like the other dogs, but he's pretty... His chest is a bit weird. Or is it a he or a she? No, it's a she, right? Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Yeah. I think that's a she. Mm. <clears throat> Mr. Peabody. Hefe. Good boy. Yeah. And I will say that's a prime example right there. The fact that he still pees like that is a really it's a good indicator that he's still a baby. You know, he's still a baby. He's a, good a lot of dogs, because they live alone or they only live with one, they get this false sense of confidence, this false bravado, because there's nobody to check them. You know what I mean? And so they really gain a lot more confidence at a younger age than a dog that is raised in a pack where they're allowed to be a baby and, you know, young and they're not forced to kind of assume that position. So I've noticed that my dogs are later into maturity as far as uh, what I would call like emotional maturity than um, dogs that I've sold that are siblings of my dogs that just live in the homes um, with their owners. Oh, right here. Nirvana. Go get that ball from Preacher. He's probably gonna, I don't trust him. One time, he likes to chew on tennis balls like bubble gum. And one time he uh, he actually swallowed one, which wasn't good. He threw it up, thankfully. Preacher, come here. But no. still, it's no good. Preacher, get your butt over here now. Preacher, come. Let's go. Did All he, the way. Did he take it yeah, he grabbed it. Preacher, come here. Right here. Heel. Right here. No. Right here. Come here. Now. Give it to me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's like toast. Go toss that in the trash. Because that's like, I knew exactly what that was. He likes the worst ones, like the grossest. Like the ones that are like decaying. Are these your dogs? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. They're kind of corso. It's an Italian mastiff. Yeah. <clears throat> Nirvana. Oh, he's gonna look for it now. Now he's mad. No he said, what'd you do with it? it what'd you do with it? So, normally I would go and walk around with him, but it's um, it's too sunny and I'm, I'm not amply covered for that. Let's see if he figures out what you did with it. Look, he tracked it down. Now he's gonna go pee. Pee again. Lady. So I don't think oh, that's. Lady. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think that's him finding the ball. I think he was just lady. peeing on it because there's more dogs in here. Lady. What kind of dog is that? Connie uh, Corso. Uh, Italian Mastiff. Uh, Lady's in her own little world. Hi there. Hello. You're a wet little dog. So is Nirvana. Mm. Preacher, get off my foot, dude. Rude. 
Hey, Babby. And then Hefe, oh, Hefe. He, he was like, I don't know about that shepherd. He's like, I guess I'm gonna check him out. Yeah. Ew, ew, he put his face in <laughs> he's, he's gonna smell it. Oh, that preacher's gonna pee on it. Oh, that's oh, great. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that. Oh, Katie's walking in her own world. Way over there. Um, there she is. Hefe, what you doing, boy? You don't wanna go in the water? You don't wanna go in the water? He's just starting to get his gait, his movement. He started to, he's starting to get a little bit longer. He grew really tall and now he's getting a little bit longer. And when he does that, his, um, his gait improves. Is that a Ridgeback or a, no? Looks like a Ridgeback mix of some kind. The lady has proclaimed her own owner mm. now. Look, do you see her up on the walk? Oh, what? The walk. The oh yeah, yeah, lady, yeah. She's, there's, there. ladies way over there. She's like, what are y'all doing? That's lady. Yeah, she abandons us. Every time somebody comes around with fun little dogs, she's like, all right, I'm out. And that's what she did last time. Where's he at? Oh my God, he's being so funny. Uh. Oh my God. Hefe! <laughs> He's like, nope, don't touch me. <laughs> Hefe! Baby! Oh, you He's like, you yeah, can pet me. Like, you, like, you can pet me. He wants to be pet by people who don't want to pet him. <laughs> well, they want to pet him. He's like, don't, He's like, don't reach for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's like a cat, yeah. I think, well, and that's, what's, what's funny is in the breed description, it says aloof, and I would say that most cats are aloof, so that would be very, that would be very, uh, oh, you know, in. characteristic. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, I got a bag right here in my pocket. You go. I'm going to, I'm going to guard our spot because my body cannot take the sun. I'm officially out of, can't do it. All righty. Hmm. Wonder where Lady's at now. Tell you what, man, that is one dog. So, I was trying to think of all the differences between the bull. There she is, like the bull terrier and the corso, because I actually find her to be quite protective. Um, <clears throat> Savannah and I were just kind of roughhousing. And she kind of grabbed, uh, um, hi. Um, she, uh, she just kind of, uh, she grabbed a, um, what did she grab? She grabbed a, a broom. It was like, kind of like acting like she was going to come at me. And, and, uh, it was Lady who was actually the first one. That preacher, leave it. <clears throat> hmm. Something he didn't like about that energy. He's going to pee again. Preacher, come. What are you doing? What are you doing? No. Are you a sweetie? Lady's like, no, you don't understand. I don't belong with the big dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Where is she? There she is. Lady. So yeah, so um very, very protective. Um um, yeah, I would say like not any more stubborn than the Corso, but definitely less expressive, I would say. Um, yeah, there's like just this kind of, um, Preacher. they are harder to read. I will say that they're definitely harder to read. They don't have like, so like most dogs have, you know, like their eyebrows and everything is just super expressive for me, much like a human, but she, big due to her face shape, a lot of that is muted. And so I would say that reading her is a little bit harder. Um, but, and then of course, she's not a Velcro dog. So she's really sweet and loving with me, but she's not a Velcro dog like the Corsos where they want to be around you. Um, she's not like that. Where's she at? There she is. Yeah, she's being super social. The Corsos are not super social. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're just not. Yeah, they kind of stay to themselves and do their own thing. They're not rude or mean, but they do tend to stay to themselves. So, preacher. What? He didn't get it. She got it. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Don't do it again, Savannah. Don't do it again. Because the other dog, you see the other dog? Yeah. Okay, you don't want to do that. Okay. Pepe, get off of him. Preacher will get him off. If he wants to, you yeah. Preacher is. He's just kind of like, I don't care. Yeah, he'll learn. That other dog's like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Rose <Rosa. laughs> Not appropriate. If, if Preacher had a problem with it, he let him know. <laughs> He's going to sit down. I think. Oh, he was gonna sit down. Preacher, come here. Preacher, preacher come here. Preacher, what's this? What's this? What's this right here? What, what is this? What's this? What's this, preacher? He's like, I'm trying, man. Preacher, you want the ball? You're really gonna let your grandson do that to you? Not sure that's appropriate, man. Nirvana, come here. What's this? Nirvana, come you here. Want you want the ball? Let's go. See, he sat down. He's like, you can't do anything. What's this? Mm. Like, Preacher's just straight up ignoring him, like 100% yeah, he's ignoring. He's yeah, they do that. He laid down. Now he laid down, my God. Uh, oh my God, he's out of his mind. See, now some people would say, does that mean that Preacher or that Hefe is more, does that mean that he is more um, dominant than Preacher? And I would say absolutely not. Like, um, you know, preacher's not paying any mind at all. So, Hefe, Hefe, come, come here. here now. Hustle, Nirvana's let's go. So if he continues that kind of stuff, what I'll end up doing is. Um, I had a dog that would do that. His name was um, Jesse James. It was back whenever I was breeding pit bulls, and he was like that. And he was like compulsive. And uh, <clears throat> I could have A, chosen not to take him out, or B, I could have used a knee collar. At the time, I just didn't take him out, but with Hefe, I'll probably just use a knee collar. So it's a simple fix. I wish that Preacher would teach him a lesson because Nirvana will. Nirvana will not tolerate that for a second. Um, there's just no way. It's not going to happen. Um, but Preacher yeah. is more patient. Seeing as how he's a puppy. <clears throat> Maybe he knows as a man that, you know, this young man needs to, you know, figure himself out or whatever. I don't know. But ultimately, yeah, normally Preacher would never tolerate that out of, a, out of another dog. Is that a male? Another male, for, you know. But for some reason, he tolerates it out of Hefe. <clears throat> Much to my dismay. Is that a Malinois? Yeah, there is a Malinois over there, yes. It's causing problems. Huh? It's causing problems. It, it is not. It. it is. No. I don't maybe it is, but all I know is that the other dog the other dog that it that I was kind of like so when you threw that ball you didn't notice it that there was another excited dog around. Uh, and he was kind of just waiting for you to do that. And his hackles were up and um, and so she's having fun up there. Do you see? Yeah. Him? And oh so God. anyway, so uh, I think that might be the dog that that Malinois is like interacting with, which is why I'm not too worried about it. Mm. <clears throat> All right, let's just, let's just say I wouldn't be so quick to judge the Malinois right now after what I saw. See, there you go. So Hefe, so Hefe thought he was going to come up and dominate that dog like he did to Preacher, and that dog basically was like, "No, you're not." And he raised his head real high, raised his tail real high, and communicated to Hefe, Hefe. Uh, that he Hefe. should mount at his own risk. And Hefe thought better of it and walked away. Dude, lady's having so much fun with that little, uh, whatever that dog is over there. Nirvana's like, I might wait for you to come back with that. So, take it. 
So he's still being respectful, but he's a baby right now. And if it, if it continues, I'll handle it. But as of now, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of do a, what we call like a wait and see. And no, it um, does not mean that Hefe likes the... You no, know, it's a dominance thing. It's just a dominance thing. And he's young and he's hormonal. You know, he's eight months old. Like he's just got to learn. These are all things they got to learn. He's just no, practicing, no, no. practicing how to be a man. I That's all. Told you. Anyway, well, I'm going to let y'all go. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm glad that this was a very, um, you know, chill moment. Because I was um, I was like, yeah, 50-50 chance with the Bull Terrier high energy. You never really know. But she did fantastic, man. So I'm really happy about it. They went after each other. Yep. Too good. So anyway, in. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.